Welcome to Gentle Yoga with Libby. This is going to be a, a 55 minute practice. And as ever, you do you, do what feels comfortable, don't do what doesn't, challenge yourself as you feel ready, rest when you need to, hold postures longer than I suggest, or come out sooner than I suggest. And we'll get started lying on the back. So as you lie down on your back, <clears throat> Bend your knees, placing your feet on the floor. Arms relaxed, you could bring your hands onto your breathing body. One on the chest anywhere, one on the belly anywhere, or you can keep your arms relaxing down by your sides. Close your eyes if you're comfortable doing so, or Simply soften your gaze and turn your attention to the sensation of your breath. Just as it is. To the rise and fall of your ribs and lungs. To the sensation of the breath in your back with your back on the floor. Begin to slow and lengthen your breath in long and full through your nose as best you can. And out through your mouth. Four more, in through your nose, long and slow. Out through your mouth. Three more, in through your nose. This time try breathing out through pursed lips. Two more, in through your nose. Out through pursed lips. Last one, in through the nose. Out through pursed lips. And you can use that breath throughout your practice if you'd like. <coughs> Excuse me. Open your arms in a T or in a cactus shape. And pause just to observe any sensation shift in your chest and shoulders simply from moving the position of your arms. Take another two rounds of breath here in through the nose and out through the nose or through your mouth. One more, in through the nose. Out through your nose or mouth. And then on your next inhale, slide your arms up overhead. They don't have to come down on the floor. And then exhale, take your arms up, over, and down by your sides. Let's do that three times. Inhale, arms up, overhead. Exhale, arms up, over, down. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Top of your inhale, top of your reach. Exhale, arms up over and down, bottom of your exhale, bottom of your reach. Last one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Now just your right arm, inhale, right arm up. Now exhale, switch, left arm up, right arm down. Inhale, switch. 
Exhale, switch. Left up, right down. Inhale, switch. Now as you exhale, bring both arms up toward the ceiling. And we'll change the pattern. Inhale, left up, right down. Exhale, center, arms reaching up. Inhale, right up, left down. Exhale, center. Two more, inhale, left up, right down. Exhale, center. Inhale, right up, left down. Exhale, center. Inhale, both arms stretch up. Exhale, arms down, one after the other, knees in towards your body and reach for your knees. Breathing long and slow, move your knees side to side. Any amount moving your hips and creating a little bit of a twist in your lower spine. So moving knees side to side. If you prefer, you can take your arms open in a T and then take your knees to the right and the left. Just small movements. This doesn't have to be a big twist. Could imagine here that the movement of knees from side to side actually offers a little bit of massage for the tissue of your deep low back and the flesh of your hips and buttocks. If you feel ready to twist, the next time your knees come toward the right, keep going. You can make it a softer twist by keeping your left leg more lifted and try extending your left leg out toward the side and then circle your left foot on your ankle. Breathing long and slow, best you can in and out of your nose. Change the direction of your circles. And then make your way back to the center. If you need to pause in the center, you can place your feet back down on your mat. Take a breath. Just finding more of a feeling of symmetry in your left and right halves. And then knees in and over toward the left. Now both legs can come over in more of a stack or you can extend your right leg out on the diagonal, any amount. And as you breathe long and slow here, circle your right ankle. And even as you set your ankle to circling, can you Imagine exhalation helping you to soften through your neck and shoulders so you're not doing extra work in a part of the body where you don't need to work. And then when you're ready to come back to the middle, lift your knees back to center and lower your feet back down. Pause. Notice any change in awareness in your hips and in your lower back. Arms can come back down by your sides. And take a breath here. One more on the floor here, lying on the back side. Bring your right knee in towards your body, towards your chest or your shoulder. And reach for your leg, interlacing your fingers around your shin or your knee and draw your knee in using the strength of your arms. And you can stay here or slide the left foot heel forward on the floor to lengthen your left leg any amount. Pavana Mukhtasana, joint freeing or wind free moving pose. And this does refer to the element of air in the joints. So in yoga, that would be like the equivalent of clicking and popping in the joints. So joint freeing through your hip, knee, you can get your ankles involved. 
When removing, also referring to digestion and elimination as we compress here the right side of the abdomen, ascending colon. So big breath. And your breath might act as an agent of change from the inside as you breathe in, you might feel a little more pressure of your torso on your leg. And then as you breathe out, you might find you can hug your leg in more, compressing right side. One more breath. And then change sides. So knees bend, feet on the floor. And then bring your left knee in and hold on to your left knee, bringing your knee toward your chest, or you can bring your whole leg out more toward the left so your knee comes more toward your shoulder armpit. If you feel plenty here, stay and breathe, or you can slide your right foot forward any amount, lengthening your right leg. Turn awareness to your breath. Notice the way your breath moves your body. So the expansion and condensing in your torso and it's associated pressure on your left thigh. You might sense and feel stretch sensation in a different part of your body. For me on this side, I actually feel um, and, and I'm much more aware of my right thigh and my right hip and lower back stretching. One more full cycle of breath. And then when you're done, put your feet back down onto the floor, knees bent. And shift if you want so that you feel a little bit more symmetrical, left and right halves of the body even. Soft face, one more full cycle of breath here. And then lift your left arm up and overhead. So returning to the opposite reach. This time we'll roll onto the left side. So if you want, you can take your knees to the right first to gather a little bit of momentum and then roll over onto your left side using your left arm as a pillow. And you can bend your knees, place your Right hand on the floor in front of you like a kickstand. And, or you could try extending your right leg, maybe even bending your right leg. Take your breath with you wherever you go. You could also try extending your left leg. So Anantasana, the limitless one. So we stretch in opposite directions, reaching through fingers, reaching through heels. And you could try balancing here. If you keep your feet flexed, they'll act like a kickstand. And then top arm can rest on the upper part of the body on the side, right side. Stay or try lifting your right leg away from your left. And then before you come out, if you'd like to try something else inside the shape, bring your right leg back and your right arm up and stretch. And then return. Try again, right leg back, right arm forward, any amount, stretch. Breathe. And then come back to the middle and roll over onto your back. Knees bent, feet on the floor, left arm down. Lift your right arm. Keep breathing. 
Knees could come toward the left. There might be a little stretching there for you on your right side body. And then as you're ready, roll over onto your right side using your right arm as a pillow. Left hand on the floor in front of your belly and knees can bend. So you can stay here, this is a good pose. You can also try lengthening your left leg away from you, keeping your right knee bent and reach through your leg and your arm in opposition. You can stay here or lengthen your right leg so you're on the right edge of your body balancing. And then legs stack, feet flex. Feet act like a kickstand and you could bring your left arm on top of the left edge of your body. And stay right here, Anantasana, limitless month. So we're stretching hands away from feet. Stay or lift your left leg away from your right. Keep breathing. And stay here or breathing. Stretch your left arm forward and your left leg back. Take a breath. Can bend your left knee and then come back to the center. Inhale, leg back, arm forward. Exhale, center. Inhale, leg back, arm forward. And exhale, center. When you're done, roll onto your back. One more time. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Pause. Ananta, meaning limitless, is a reference to Vishnu, who is the sustaining god in the Hindu pantheon. And he represents meditation, our ability to ride the waves of consciousness. So as we're on the side body here, we are like Vishnu on Adishesha, the primordial serpent, the primordial curve of the breath, the waves of the breath, Anantasana. When you're ready, next postures are seated. So again, you could roll onto your side like we did before, left arm up and turn, and then stretch your right leg out and make your way up. So even the transitions between postures are opportunities to explore and increase range of motion. So sit cross-legged or you can sit up on your heels or on a block if that suits you better. Or you could even stretch your legs forward. Let's do some ragdoll side bending. So lean a little bit side to side so you feel more even in your sitting bones on your prop or on the floor. Arms out by your sides. Take a deep breath and lift your heart. Keep that fullness as you exhale, soften your shoulders. Relax your face and ride the wave of your breath here for a few rounds. Let's do three deep breaths. Two more, you could return to breathing out through first lips. One more. This time, breathe in, lengthening tail to crown, and then breathe out and lean toward the right. Tilt your head toward the right and your shoulders. And breathe here.
Inhale and come back to the middle. Exhale and go to the left. Tilt your head to the left, leaning shoulders to the left. Breathe here. Inhale to the middle, lift your left arm. Exhale, right. Inhale, center, both arms up. Exhale, go left. So right arm stays up, left arm goes down. Side to side, two more times. Inhale to the middle, arms up, stretch up. Exhale, go right, left arm stays lifted. Inhale, center. Exhale, left, right arm stays lifted. Inhale, center, arms up, stretch up, exhale, arms down. Come to your hands and knees now. So on your hands and knees, knees under the hips and hands under your shoulders. Spread the fingers super wide, then close them completely. And then find a happy medium, keeping your thumbs relaxed. Push the ground away from you with your hands and with your shins until you feel and sense for a change in support happening in your torso as well. So when you press the ground away from you, you might feel a lifting and a toning through your torso. Breathe in, lift your heart, look forward. Breathe out, lift your rib cage to round your back. Two more, cat and cow. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, round your back. Lift your ribs to round your back, head and tail follow. One more, inhaling, lift your heart, head and tail follow. Exhaling, lift your ribs to round your back. Now the uncat cow. Inhale and lengthen your spine, hold forward, a little bit heart lift. And child pose as you exhale, bring your hips back towards your heels and your forearms and forehead toward the floor. Remember, knees can separate here. On an inhale, lead with the crown of your head as you rise up, hands and knees, lift your heart. Exhaling, hips back, forearms and forehead toward the floor. One more like this, Chakra Vakasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, draw back. Chakra, hold here as you breathe. Chakra, the energy centers along the spine. Vak comes into English as the word voice. So this is spine speaking pose. We're giving our energy, our central energy, a voice. So let's try again with downward facing dog in the mix. So breathe in, lift up, hands and knees, lift your heart, look forward some. Exhale, back toward child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Tuck your toes under this time. Exhale, any amount, lift your knees and stretch your hips back toward a downward facing dog like shape. On an inhale, lower your knees, uncurl your toes, lift your heart some. Child's pose as you exhale, hips back, forearms and forehead toward the floor. Two more, inhale, hands and knees, lift your heart. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Stay an extra breath this time, perhaps, and pedal your feet, lowering one heel as you bend the opposite knee. And then on your next inhale, lower your knees, uncurl your toes, lift your chest. Child's pose, exhale back. Let's stay an extra breath in child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Tuck your toes, exhale back toward a downward facing dog. 
Again, stay two or three breaths in downward dog. Bending one knee as you lower the opposite heel and then change. From here, let's move toward standing forward bend. So walk your feet and your hands toward each other. Feet can separate, knees can bend. And then bow forward Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Long, slow breath. Bend your knees deep, sit back, bring your forearms up to your knees, bring your hands together in front of your heart, chair pose. Stay here as you breathe, weight in your heels, or you could try lifting your arms up and overhead, or maybe arms forward. One more breath. Stand up, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms down. And you can wiggle if you wanna. Long, slow breath here in your mountain pose. So weight in your heels. Knees unlocked, so supple. Thighs back, top thighs back, just a little bit. Breathing in, lift your chest. Keep that fullness as you exhale, relax your shoulders and arms. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Simply lower them as you exhale, arms down. Soft face and eyes. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more, inhale, arms up. Maybe heart lifts and you look up. Exhale, arms down. We'll do seven spinal actions, so keep it simple. Find your mountain pose, either feet together or hip socket distance apart. And as you breathe in, reach your arms up. Exhaling, lean toward the right. Right arm down. Inhale back to center. Exhale, go left. Inhale, center. Now twist to the right, exhale, arms in a T. Inhale, center. Exhaling, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhaling, hands to the back of your head. Now take a deep breath in and lift your heart and your nose any amount and hold here as you breathe, small back bend. Inhale, back to the center, pause, breathe. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, bend your knees and put your hands on your knees. Tuck your chin, draw your ribs in, take a breath. And you can stay here or come to a forward bend. Hands down, knees can bend. And breathe. When you're ready, breathing in, stand up, arms up. And exhale, arms down. Pause. Soft face and eyes. Long, slow breath. Again, seven spinal actions. This time, if it works for you, you could try bringing your legs all the way together and squeeze them together. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean to the right. Maybe this time interlace your fingers, pointing your first fingers up and out as you lean. Half moon pose. Deep breath. Exhale, 
Inhale, come back to the middle, stretch up. Exhale, go left. Deep breath. Inhale, center. Exhaling, go right. Twisting to the right. Stay and breathe. Inhale, center. Twist left. Exhale. And breathe. Inhale, center. Now your choice of back bend, exhale, hands could come to your head or to your lower back. Deep breath in, lift up. Exhaling any amount, lean back. So think more up than back. So lift up, heart up and up and up. Keep breathing. Inhaling, stretch up, exhale, pause. Inhaling, arms up, exhale, bend your knees, hands to your knees, chair pose. Tuck your chin, draw your ribs in. So lengthening and expanding through your back body, try to feel and sense for your breath in your back. And you can stay here if you feel plenty or walk your hands down toward your shins or toward the floor, standing forward bent. Breathe. When you're ready to come up, you can bend your knees and sit back through chair, hands to heart or arms out. Inhale, stand up, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Stand at the top of your space so you have plenty of space behind you. And we'll move through some slow sun salutations. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhaling, fold forward, hands to knees or hands toward shins or the Take a breath. On an inhale, lift your heart forward, lengthening your spine. On an exhale, fold and step your left foot back with your knee up or your knee down. Take a breath in your lens. Next position, your choice. You could lower your knee and come to hands and knees, or you could step back and come to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Inhaling, lift halfway. And on an exhale, fold. Try to relax your head, long, slow breath. Step your right foot back, knee up or knee down. Keep breathing and when you're ready, next posture, hands and knees or downward facing dog. Or you could do half and half. So knees down and then walk your arms, hands forward, lowering your head for quarter dog or anahatasana. Anahata, the heart chakra. Anahata means unstruck sound. So the potential for harmony in the heart as we expand through all of the musculature that feeds from the heart outward, the shoulder muscles, and then the arms by extension, 
the spinal muscles, so as, and the legs by extension. And then when you're ready, make your way to a standing forward bend. So if you're on your hands and knees, you can tuck your toes and lift your knees enough to walk your feet in and bow forward, head relaxed. Breathe. Inhaling, stand up, arms up. On an exhale, arms down. So one more Surya Namaskara salutation to the sun. Maybe a little more fluid on the breath this time, but feel free to hold anywhere longer. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back, knee up or knee down. This time you could bring your hands up to your front thigh or lift your arms up and overhead. Deep breath. And then hands down. Step your back foot forward. Inhaling, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Step your right foot back, knee up or knee down. Breathe. Stay hands down or hands to thigh or breathing in, arms up and overhead, high lunge. On an exhale, lower your hands down. Step your back foot forward. On an inhale, lift halfway. On an exhale, fold. Again, step your left foot back, knee up or knee down. Keep breathing. Hands to thigh or arms up and overhead. This time, if your arms are lifting, try a cactus. Bend your elbows, broadening across your chest space. Breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down and step back, hands and knees. Quarter dog, Anamatasana, or downward facing dog. Long breath. Remember, knees can be down here. And stretching forward with your torso, forehead down. Your choice. When you're ready to come out, find hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift, and walk your feet and hands forward to the top of your mat and bow. Breathe long and slow. Step your right foot back, knee up or knee down. Stay hands to the floor or your thigh, or lift your arms up and overhead, left side lunge. Breathe. Eyes soft. You can bend your elbows, cactus arms. Try and broaden from your sternum to your elbows. When you're ready to come out, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, and step back, hands and knees, child's pose. Anahatasana, quarter dog, or downward facing dog. Take a breath. Take a few. Stay for three to five breaths. Feel free to move inside the shape. Pedal your feet, shift your hips. If you're in child's pose, you can rock gently side to side or take your hands over to the right and breathe. And then to the left and breathe. When you're ready, find your way to hands and knees or walk forward and we'll meet together, walking forward toward the top of the space and bow, relaxing your head. Inhale, stand up, arms up. 
Exhale, arms down. Keep breathing easy. Turn to the side so you have plenty of space on either side of you. And then turn your toes out and your heels in. Uttkata Konasana, goddess pose or fierce double angle pose. Breathe in, reach your arms out and up so you're making a big, big shape. Star-like shape. Hold here as you breathe. So one more inhale here, get a little bigger. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and your elbows. Inhaling, lengthen arms and legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Now try staying here in your bent arms and legs. And then we'll hold three more breaths. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. On your next inhale, open your arms in a T. Exhale, hands together. Maybe you sit down a little bit more, but you don't have to. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, hands together. Maybe you sit down a little bit more. Feet come a little further away from each other. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, sit down more. Inhaling, stand up. Legs long, arms up. And exhale, arms down. Breathe easy. Turn your toes. You can step your feet back in and under you. Hold here as you breathe. And then last one before we come back to the floor. Warrior two, turn your right, step your feet wide and turn your right toes to face the top of your space. Angle your back toes forward slightly. So your hips might turn slightly forward and bend your right knee. Open your arms in a T. And you can stay here with your heart and your nose pointing in the same direction or you could turn and look out over your right hand. Now you're welcome to stay here for the next two cycles of breath or breathing in, stretch out more and then exhale side angle pose, forearm towards your thigh, left arm reaching up or forward, hold here one full cycle of breath. Pressing down through your feet, come up, inhale, lengthen your right leg. Arms open, exhale, arms down, turn your toes. If you need to take a break before you do the second side, step your feet in and under you. And then take your feet wide again, turn your left toes out and your right toes in, and bend your left knee. Open your arms. Breathing here, heart and nose can face the same direction or you could turn through your head. Soft gaze, long breath. And stay, or on your next exhalation, bring your left forearm toward your thigh and your right arm up or forward for side angle pose. Pressing through your feet, inhale, come up, lengthen your leg, arms open, and exhale, arms down. Turn your toes and step your feet in and under you. Pause, feet together or hip socket distance apart. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a breath. And release and come to lie down on your back once again. 
So you can, you can even also take your time rolling down if you haven't yet come to the floor. And maybe your hands and arms come forward and you roll down, or you could hold on to your knees and roll down. Press your knees into your hands. Try it. Controlled descent. And then once your head touches down, consciously relax the muscles of your neck. Feet touching down, pause. Eyes open if you'd prefer, or you can close your eyes. And observe. Notice the sensation present in your body and your relationship to your breath. Keeping your face soft. Imagine each exhalation as an opportunity to let go, to soften more, to give over to gravity. On your next inhale, slide your arms out into a T. Exhaling, soften. And breathe in. And on an exhale, one after the other, lift your knees in towards your body. Ending where we started, lean your knees to the right and left. And if you'd like, as you add in a little bit of twisting for your deep low back, you could settle over toward the right for Jatara Paririti, the stomach twist. And knees can come to the right. You could turn your head to the left. If you'd like, you can put your right hand on the top of your left knee to encourage the left knee softly forward and down. Long breath. When you're done, arms out on an inhale, come back to the middle. Pause as you breathe, feet down. Notice the two halves of the body. And then knees in and take your knees toward the left. Your head could turn toward the right. You could bring your left hand on the top of your right knee. And then inhaling, make your way back to the middle. Exhale, feet down, readjust through your hips, your spine and your shoulders by bringing your hands to the back of your head and maybe lift your shoulders and just walk a little bit side to side and then replant the head and relax your arms. So before we release to Shavasana, our final resting shape, Let's practice a little moving meditation with breath. So bring your hands to the space of your chest, just resting easy. And this comes from the Vinny Yoga tradition. I learned this from Chase Bossart. 
So this is a meditation on the moon. So imagine the moon above you in the sky. Picture the moon. So we're in a half moon phase right now. And as you breathe in, lift your arms up and reach for the moon. And as you breathe out, imagine as you bring your hands back to your chest that you're drawing the moon toward your heart. Four more like that. Breathe in, reach toward the moon. Exhale, hands come in, moon awareness comes in. Three more, breathing in, reach up, reach for the moon. Exhale, hands in, moon in. Two more on your own. And the last time you come in and your hands settle on your chest space, you can just breathe easy. And if it's comfortable, you can keep your hands where they are. Or you can choose to move your hands and arms. Completely soften the muscles around your eyes. And around your ears. And you can stay or begin to stretch your legs long toward the floor. Legs long and uh, move your feet side to side, some like windshield wipers just to free up your legs and hips. And then arms long and down. You can move through your arms if you like or take your head side to side making any little adjustments to help you feel more comfortable on the floor for your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Once you find this shape, do your best to do nothing at all. Let your body be heavy and soft and your breathing easy and effortless. And we'll stay here for about three minutes. And if you're viewing the film, you're welcome to turn it off at this time and take a longer rest. But in three minutes, I'll come back up to the screen and close the class. Let's rest here. Nothing to do. Nothing to change.
Good. And breathe in long and slow. And out. And breathing easy, start to move again, toes and fingers, feet, hands, legs, arms, whole body moving to help you make your way up to sit. And as you come to sit tall, bring your hands together in front of your heart, bowing your head to your heart. This, a gesture of thanks, thanks to your body for everything your body does for you. Thanks to the wisdom of your breath. And thanks to the practice and teaching of yoga. It's an honor to guide you through the practice. Namaste. So thanks again for joining. If you are looking for more information, you can visit my website, www.twobirdsyogatraining.com. And I'll have online options available soon, as well as in-person um, teacher trainings and classes. Stay tuned.